So hey, welcome back, and we're um, back with Pixel Matter today. I'm gonna create or show you to create a Facebook cover image, you know, for the background of your Facebook. Most people have got it. It's gonna be gaming orientated, and the reason for that is because I'm doing a um, a giveaway on my gaming channel. So shameless plug if you want to go and check it out. Um, links in the description below. So go file new. It'll also show you some techniques with Pixel Matter that you might not have seen before as well. And the size is gonna be 815 in width and 315 in height. And then just click OK, and you get this um, this canvas pop up. And I'm just going to resize my um, my outer palette, shall we say, just quickly. And then you can either like make gradients here and use that way, or you can use images that you've downloaded from Google because mine's going to be gaming orientated. Um, and a massive game at the moment is Black Ops 2, as always. So I'm going to use a couple of images from here. Yeah, let's use that as well. That's quite nice. Um, drag that on top and turn that logo off for now. Right, now because my background image is bigger than the canvas that I'm going to use, I'm going to press Command minus so I can see the size, the outer size of my image. And I'm going to resize it from there, right? And right away, that is um, pretty much how I want it. So Command plus to zoom back in. And I'm quite happy with that. Now what I want to do, I think, I'm going to put some type, so put some text in here, right? Um, and I'm going to use, let's use, yeah, Postmaster's fine, okay. Um, but I want it to be like it, like it's etched into the wall behind him, right? Or into this, etched into this light behind him. So the first, if I look at my colours, in here, in this hair area here, there's whites, there's greys, and there's a black, right? So that's the three colours I'm going to use. I'm going to use whites, greys, and blacks. And I'm going to zoom in just, just so you can see perfectly what I'm doing, right? So I've got my white copy at the top, or my white text. And I'm going to call it white, just to simplify things. And then I'm going to right-click and copy that. Now this is the copy on top, right? So I want to select it and make it grey, sort of a, gr a slightly darker grey than that's used here. And then I'm going to drag it on top, like this, and then drag it below, right? So then, the, call this one grey, double click it, you just double click it to, um, and then I'm going to duplicate this again, and it should be white copy, select it, black. Now the reason I put it on top first, is to make sure it does snap actually into the into the position that I want it to and then I'm going to put it below the grey and call it black just so it doesn't cause any confusion now with the white I'm going to right click it convert into pixels go to my effects browser go blur Gaussian blur and drag it onto this here now if you move it up or down you'll see it sort of makes it into the etched background that we want it to be now I'm going to leave a slight glow of white coming off this and the reason for that is because you've got a white sort of glow here anyway now I'm going to go to the grey one and I'm just going to turn the opacity, if I turn the opacity right down it'll be like this, so just mess with the opacity up and down until it's sort of bang, that's, yeah that's the one I want that's, and that's how I want it right now I'm going to select the white in my layers press shift Select the bottom one, which is the black. Right click and merge layers. Um, I'm going to go Command minus on my keyboard, and this is the way it will look to other people, right? To the actual size, and it looks quite cool. Now, what else I want to do to it? Um, I'm going to put a rounded rectangle shape around the outside, right? Um, and just do it corner to corner, and it'll snap into place. And depend on the thickness of this, how you want it. You just use the um, toolbar at the top. Very straightforward. Now the reason I've made it white is because I'm going to go convert to pixels, and then I'm going to go on blur it, and I'm going to blur it quite a little bit, quite a bit, to make it blend with the rest of the image. Because if you look here, it blends with the rest of the image. But not only that, the reason I've, another reason I've made it white is I can go to my effects browser, and I can go to colorize and drag it onto the shape and change it with this sort of circle swatch 
to any colour that I so desire. And with the use of the saturation, so if I go to sort of a red, an orangey red, I'm going to make this deep red now, just by the saturation. By knowing that orangey red, saturated up, will um, turn into a deep red. And this lightness here will just um, control the thickness of the blur. Okay. So that's the way I want it. I'm going to click cancel anyway, because I want it like this. Now with the um, with the logo itself, I'm just going to leave it at that size for now, just because I want to show you. Um, command left click on this little um, placeholder here, and then um, click new layer, which needs to be above. Select my paint bucket tool, go for a, an orangey, deep orangey colour, sort of here, paint that. Press Command D to deselect. Get this. Highlight my original layer. Backspace to delete. Go to my now new layer. Get my um, selection tool. And resize it. Just so it's really small. And then I'm just going to drag it into the corner. I just want it just to just to sit there, just less than perfect. And click OK when I'm happy with the size, and then I want to drag it below the shape so it's behind the um, the blurred image. And that's it. That's as simple as it is. And um, like I said, if you want these, I've done ten, a pack of ten, and put on my gaming channel. The link's in the description below. So if you want that, go and uh, go and check it out. Hope this helps you out. Show you a few techniques, and I'll be back pretty soon. Catch you all later. Bye.